My name is Mariana Iskander. I'm the CEO of Harumbi Youth Employment Accelerator. And we're just that, we're a youth employment accelerator. We um, are based in South Africa and now doing work in Rwanda and in, on the African continent. And the real problem we're trying to solve is um, kind of the global challenge of young people who are leaving schooling systems, entering the labor market, um, and both not being ready and not finding opportunity. Most of us know probably in any country that we live in that um, people struggle to find people that they think are a right fit. And even in countries where the jobs are more limited, there are jobs available and partnering with businesses in thinking differently about how they access labor markets and pools of talent is really important. But in addition to that, we actually have to be in the job making business and finding ways to create opportunities um, that young people can find their way into, even if those are entry points that might lead them to other things. Every single day I see young people who sort of despite the odds of every system being broken on their way to Harambi, still show up. And I think that that for me really says that if we keep young people at the center of all of our interventions, so instead of making them run around, we all run around and get more coordinated, get our governments to line up with what the businesses need, get economies growing in sectors that are labor absorbing, where jobs can be made available, thinking creatively about solutions where young people can do employability work that might transition them into more formal work over time. I feel confident we're already showing that we can get to solutions at scale. In Rwanda, Harambi has actually set up our operations in the government youth center. So we haven't actually set up our own offices. And what that has done is it's leveraged public infrastructure for a lot of other so sorts of services. And I think it's demonstrated to government we're trying to build with them and not alongside them. In South Africa, we've partnered with our government to actually change incentives that they give to businesses that require them to think about inclusive hiring as part of the ability to get that government incentive.